Hello and welcome to God's Minute. I'm Pastor Jonathan Conrad. I'm the senior pastor at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Wilmington, North Carolina, where all means all. And this week, we are taking a look at the book of Acts in a series called Peter and John Face to Music. And today's passage has me thinking about the movie, Now You See Me. So let's get to it. When the high priest and those with him arrived, they called together the council and the whole body of the elders of Israel and sent to the prison to have them brought. But when the temple police went there, they did not find them in the prison. So they returned and reported, We found the prison securely locked and the guards standing at the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. Now when the captain of the temple and the chief priest heard these words, they were perplexed about them, wondering what might be going on. Then someone arrived and announced, Look, the men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Then the captain went with the temple police and brought them, but without violence, for they were afraid of being stoned by the people. Now You See Me is a 2013 mystery heist film. The plot follows an FBI agent, Mark Ruffalo, and an Interpol detective, Melanie Laurent, working together to bring to justice a team of magicians led by Jesse Eisenberg, who pull off bank heists and robberies during their performances and reward their audiences with the money. It's a fun little movie. I would recommend it. And in our passage today, we get the Bible version of the movie. The apostles were supposed to be in prison, but the angel of the Lord let them out. But the temple police don't know that. So when they get to the prison, there are no prisoners. And when they realize they are back to preaching the gospel right there in the temple, they all say, what happened? How could this be possible? Well, it's not what happened. It's who happened. The who is Jesus. With Jesus, everything has changed. If a tomb could not contain Jesus, then certainly a prison cell is no match for Jesus. And it shows that the message is stronger than any prison, any tomb, any obstruction, and any interruption. The message of Jesus goes on. And if there are days where you feel like you can't talk about Jesus or think about Jesus, that's okay. The message is strong enough that it will be told. It will be shared. And maybe on those days, instead of talking about Jesus, others will tell you about Jesus and your faith can be renewed. Because Jesus has this. Jesus has us. And together, when people see us as followers, they see Jesus and the gospel at work. And that will do it for me today. Thank you for watching. I will be back tomorrow for another edition of God's Minute. Until then, you take care and God bless. Come worship with us at St. Paul's Lutheran Church every Sunday. If you are in the Wilmington area, please worship with us at our 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. indoor services, Holy Communion is served at each service. Gluten-free wafers and grape juice are available if you need those items. And if you are fully vaccinated, masks are optional. If you feel more comfortable wearing a mask, you are very welcome to do so. If you are not fully vaccinated, masks are required. If you are in need of Holy Communion, come by between 12.15 and 12.45 p.m. when we offer our drive through Communion where you can receive the sacrament, pick up a devotional, and our weekly newsletter. Gluten-free wafers and grape juice are available if you need those items. We invite you to support St. Paul's and our ministries through financial giving. You can give in several ways, online, text, check, cash, and drafting from your bank account. Your financial support helps bring God's grace to all. And at St. Paul's Lutheran Church, all means all.